There are three major fossil fuels, coal, oil and natural gas. They all contain carbon and some sulfur impurities, where the chemical symbol of carbon is a capital C and the chemical symbol of sulfur is a capital S. Now these fossil fuels can all undergo combustion where they burn in oxygen. During combustion, these fossil fuels release a lot of thermal energy. During combustion, the carbon combines with oxygen, forming carbon dioxide, which has a molecular formula of CO2. We already know carbon dioxide is only formed when there is plenty of oxygen. If there is limited oxygen, then carbon monoxide, which has a molecular formula of CO, forms. During combustion, the sulfur also combines with oxygen, forming sulfur dioxide, which has a molecular formula of SO2. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Here I'm drawing a fossil fuel power station which runs on fossil fuels such as coal, oil or natural gas and we already know these fossil fuels all contain carbon and some sulphur impurities. Therefore the combustion of these fuels produces pollution such as carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and sulphur dioxide. To reduce sulphur dioxide emissions the sulphur dioxide can be reacted with calcium oxide or calcium hydroxide. The combustion of fuels in cars also produces the same pollution, also including NO, which includes different nitrous oxides. These chemicals are pollutants because they cause harm to the environment, and these pollutants rise up into the air where they dissolve in clouds. So what happens is the sulfur dioxide dissolves in the clouds, which is water. This forms sulfuric acid, which has a molecular formula of H2SO4, AQ for aqueous. The carbon dioxide also dissolves, forming carbonic acid. And nitrous oxide dissolves, forming nitric acid, which has a molecular formula of HNO3, AQ for aqueous. All three acids are dissolved in water. All three acids contribute to acid rain, and acid rain has a pH of 5.2 and below. So when it rains, there are acids dissolved in that rain, which is why we call it acid rain. This acid rain does a lot of damage to the environment, where the acid rain damages lakes, limestone buildings, farmland, and metal objects such as cars, tractors, and metal that's on buildings. Acid rain causes the fish and other organisms to die because the water becomes acidic. Limestone buildings are damaged as the calcium carbonate reacts with the acid in the rainwater. Crops are damaged and trees are killed as the soil becomes acidic and metal objects are damaged as well as the metal corrodes when it reacts with the acid in the rainwater. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.